Hi there, and welcome back to a new episode of- Shut the fuck up! Multiple sources close- Do you guys know more people that aren't in touch with Britney Spears than my two? Just saying. To Britney, tell us. She drinks coffee. Holy shit, coffee? I drink coffee. I drink coffee. Okay. Red Bull. Red Bull? Celsius. Celsius! It has no sugar added. It's so fucking healthy. And dandelion tea. Oh my god, I gotta be rid of the fucking hippies and their fucking tea. Dandelion tea? I have never heard of a tea that was like something people raged on. That dandelion tea. That's some shit, man. I heard the kids were doing it before they were clubbing. And people are like, hey, you want to rage tonight? Get the motherfucking tea. We're gonna do shots. And the tea cup and the tea. <sighs> tea is hot. How could anyone down it that fast? Unless it was cold brew. And even at that point, it actually has less extracts of the actual tea. Gallant. Did you guys know that eight glasses of water, eight ounces per glass, eight times eight is 64 ounces? That's that's a gallon. Most people drink a gallon of water a day. Just saying. For manic episode. That makes you manic? I drink fucking Gatorade. Sometimes coconut water. Water too. And coffee. Am I manic? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. We're told she sometimes stays awake for three days. And it's hard to be awake after three days. Have you fucking tried? For most of you, like, oh, I've never done all-nighter. Good for fucking you. You ever seen this? Triangle of death? Choose two. Sleep, work, social life. I'm be real with y'all. I usually fuck sleep over. I'm like, fuck it. Fuck it. YOLO. So, I mean, yeah. You know how hard it is to stay awake after the third day? It's almost fucking impossible. You fucking try it. Three days is, yeah, that's usually about it. Let's go on with this bullshit. It looks like I'm drinking an alcoholic beverage, but it's not. I'm drinking Red Bull. Oh my fucking god, that's so scandalous. Vodka Red Bull is a good time. You know? Just, just FYI. Like, if you're like, oh yeah, I want to get, like, lit and I want to, like, drink, but, like, I don't want to get sleepy. Vodka Red Bull. Especially of ADHD, it's like, this is great. Because alcohol is a depressant. Puts you down. They like that high-ish... This guy needs to call the White House. Caffeine is dangerous! Tell the rest of the fucking world, too. Oh, also, second news flash. Top of the world kind of sense of you know, this guy drinks coffee. He's like, oh yeah, I love that inflated feeling. Who you are and where you are. Shit, sign me up for that. That's only from coffee? Fuck, why am I putting my body through the ringer on harder shit? Coffee is commonly used. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. The hardcore drugs? Coffee. Starbucks? The number one drug dealer in the world. You get away from me, Starbucks. You get away. Push your, push your motherfucker. Pushing your fucking frappuccinos. Drink it, get addicted. To be fair, caffeine is the number one addicted drug in the world. So, that is a fact. A factual statement. Like, actual, literal fucking fact. He investigates Britney Spears, the price of freedom. So you have to have freedom to have a price associated with it. The absence of freedom would have been a better fucking title. Just saying, okay? You have to have freedom so that it costs something. But what does it cost you when you have nothing? She's freedom poor. Britney Spears, box fan or freedom? There's no freedom with that box fan. I'm going to regret this joke, but fuck it. I'm going to double down. It's literally being like Britney Spears, poor and freedom.